In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, find the value of k for which your system is stable whenever we have this uh, block diagram here so let's say that g is 1 over s times s plus 1 times s plus 2 h is 1 and initially let's say that k is also 1 but then of course we're going to uh, vary k so that we find the range for which it is uh, for which the system response to a step input is stable so go ahead and open MATLAB go to file new script let's begin by uh, clearing our variables clearing the screen Let's make a symbolic constant for the variable s that is used in the transfer function notation. Like I said initially, let's, lay, let's let k equal to 1. And let's let the, uh, like we said before, the uh, numerator of g is also 1. The denominator is s times s plus 1 times s plus 2 and of course g is its uh, numerator over its denominator and h is 1 so let's go ahead and plot the uh, root locus of the open loop function Go ahead and save your script. And let's also plot the uh, step response of the system. So my uh, so this is my open loop function my closed loop function is going to be k times e fed back through h negatively So go ahead and run the code. So this is my step response for my closed loop function. And this is my root locus plot. And if you click on any line in the locus, you're gonna see that you get uh, these black squares that you can drag around. Now notice that uh, these yellow squares have some information in them, one of which is the gain, which is k in our block diagram. And you can see that as I drag my uh, black square about, about the locus, the gain varies. And as you might have learned already from your controls class, whenever the uh, poles of the closed loop system are to the right of the imaginary axis you're gonna have a non-stable system and these black squares actually represent the uh, closed loop poles that you want so if I put it right where the locus cross crosses my uh, imaginary axis you can see that it's around 6 and you can actually zoom in so it's about 6 so at 6 is where it crosses let's go ahead and change the value of k to see what happens and 
and let's close the graphs from the first uh, run of the script Now, no, before I close this one, notice that my step response is uh, pretty stable. So now we're going to see what happens when uh, we change the value of k to 6. Which is which will put our uh, closed loop pulse right on the uh, imaginary axis. So now you see that for our response, we get a, uh, a system that never, a uh, response that never settles as expected. And I believe this is, uh, is what you call a uh, marginally stable system and uh, oscillation that never ends. So that means that for uh, any values after, any values for the k after 6, uh, we're going to get a, uh, an unstable system. Let's try a larger number. So this is my response for a larger value of k, larger than 6. So in the beginning there's no oscillation, but if you notice at the end, we have this huge oscillation. So of course the system is not stable. Let's go back to our uh, k equals 1 that we have. So the values of k that you choose are for when k equals 1 so what does that really mean well let's go ahead and uh, plot the um, so this is the open loop function let's go ahead and plot the locus of the closed loop function so that you can get a uh, better understanding of uh, what the value of k does to the closed loop poles so down below, I'm going to plot the uh, locus for the closed loop system. So with k equal to 1, my uh, closed loop poles are at uh, 0 0.338, 0 0.562 on the imaginary axis and of course the uh, conjugate pole has a real negative 0.338 and the imaginary negative 0.562 so what if I wanted to move these poles to let's say you know somewhere around here well let's go to our uh, open loop root locus plot so that means I will need a gain of about 3.44 so remember this graph because now we're going to move the poles over here by adjusting the gain to 3.44 So that's my open loop root locus. And this is my closed loop root locus. And notice how the gain moved the poles from, uh, they, they were previously here to here as expected. So you can say that the gain, adjusting the gain moves the uh, closed loop poles of the system and you can determine the range for k for which the system remains stable by simply clicking on where the locus crosses the imaginary axis and so any number larger than that is going to be uh, is going to give you a non-stable system for k now also remember that when you are uh, determining the range for which uh, your system is stable 
you have to have k equal to one. Notice here that my gain says that uh, the system is stable for 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 the gain of 1.75. That's because I run it when it was when k was 3.44. So remember to change your gain to one initially to determine its range for stability. Let me run it again one more time. now with k equal to one so like i said that's about six and uh so the root locus is symmetric about the x-axis so the uh, value for k for uh, the maximum value for k for stability would be equal to six for this system that has uh, this G function and this H function. So if your system is different, simply modify the uh, values for G that I have here and H. And that's it for this video.